Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today is the day. Well, yesterday it was, but they started, the Kickstarter is officially on for the Unihertz Titan Pocket. That is the smaller version of the Unihertz Titan. 3.1 inch screen, 720p resolution, 4,000 milliamp battery, and looks a lot like our old dear friend, the BlackBerry Q10, which was the very first keyboard phone that BlackBerry 10 made. Love this device, I'm really excited about the Titan, and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the specs, we're gonna talk about the design, we're gonna talk about lots of other things. But before we get into that, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's talk about the Unihertz Titan Pocket. All right, so the Unihertz Titan Pocket. Looks a lot like this guy. 3.1 inch square screen, 720p resolution. Not 1080p, not 4K, not Quad HD+, but it's not necessary. When you have a screen that is this small, 3.1 inches, you can't tell the difference. So I'm not worried about that. I don't know if it's gonna be an AMOLED or an LCD. My guess is an LCD just like the Titan, but it's gonna be 30% lighter, 30% smaller. MediaTek Helio, P70 processor, which is actually an upgrade over the Titan. It had a P60. USB-C charging. It's going to have a speaker. Of course, you can listen to music. Bluetooth 4.1 NFC, so you can do your contactless payments. IR blaster. And it's going to have 128 gigs of storage, 6 gigs of RAM. So you're loaded out there. You can do two SIMs. So it's a dual SIM configuration, or you can go one SIM and put an SD card. And then on top of that, you also get 4G LTE. It's not 5G. This is not a 5G chipset. That is something that might be concerning for people, but I still think we're at a point where 4G LTE is totally acceptable. So the price is going to be 299 MSRP, which I think is very reasonable. You can get the Titan for like 350, so it makes sense that this would be cheaper. It's smaller, it's lighter, 4,000 milliamp battery, 30% smaller. So I like it. I like the way that it looks. It's gonna have a touch sensitive keyboard like you got with the Passport, the Priv, the Key 1, the Key 2. So you'll have that. It's still gonna have the dedicated fingerprint sensor just below the screen. And I like it. I like what they're bringing to the table here. And it's really cool. So just so I can pull this, I can't remember all this stuff. But on their Kickstarter, they're talking about, they had originally set it up for a $50,000 Kickstart pledge. And just today, within the first 24 hours, over $500,000 pledged, over 2,200 backers, and there's still 30 days to go. So it's a good deal because they've got some early incentive stuff because it's a Kickstarter. And I am not trying to sell you this at all. I don't work for them. They didn't ask me to make this. I'm a BlackBerry enthusiast. I love keyboard phones. So I'm sharing this with you, my audience, who I figure I got a lot of people that are really interested in. And they're supposed to be sending me a prototype model so I can test it out soon. But one other thing on here, just so I can tell you, it's got also support for lots of different languages, English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch, Russian, Russian translate, whatever that is, Japanese, simplified Chinese, Pinyin, and it's gonna have traditional Chinese. So all that running on Android 11, not Android 9 upgradable to 10, not Android 10 upgradable to 11, Android 11, I'm excited about that. Also, it's GSM unlocked, tough, drop resistant, it's not waterproof. This one's not like the Titan where it's IP67 dust and water resistant. So don't throw it in the water, but you can use the custom shortcuts on the buttons. You can press and hold them, press them just like you can with the other BlackBerry phones or the Titan. Eight megapixel front facing selfie camera, 16 megapixel primary camera. And then I mentioned earlier, 4,000 milliamp battery. That's gonna last you all day, no problem. But I wanna show you here, or at least talk about it. So 299 MSRP, but right now you can still get it for 199 on the Kickstarter, which is a great deal. That's gonna go away once they sell out a certain mini. Then it's gonna go to 219 and then you're stuck at 299. Right now you can actually buy two of them for two for 399, which is 33% off, which is crazy. Go check it out. You can buy 10 of them for $1,960 if you want. I mean, that's a lot. And they have a leather holster add-on you can get for 25 bucks. But they started the Kickstarter today, May 18th, and it's gonna go into production in August, and it's supposed to go into packaging and delivery in September. So I like the timeline. I like that they've got it laid out so you can see what you're getting, see what options, and check it out. You can go to the link, it's in the description below, 
but I think if you're waiting on a BlackBerry, I think if you want a physical keyboard phone in 2021, we're still waiting for the Honorable Mobility BlackBerry. Don't know where that's at. They said it's going to be here the first half of 2021, which is right around the corner. So that creates a complicated situation for people who are looking to wait for that phone. But the nice thing about this one is it's only $299 and you can get it way cheaper than that right now and the early Kickstarter adoption. So that's all I've got. I think it's going to be decent. I think it's perfectly viable. I'm looking forward to getting the one when they send it to me. And I may buy one anyway, do a giveaway or something later on. But I like what they did with the Titan. I'm glad they refined it here. Much more tactile keyboard experience. And I like that it's small and it's compact. And it reminds me so much of one of my favorite Blackberries, the Q10. So I think they got a lot going on here. And I think it's worth taking a look at. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.